there, May Flom here, and I'm just turning on my Scan and Cut by Brother, and I'm getting started here. I want to make a card that's thankful for a good friend of mine, and I'm going to go ahead and load up my mat here and show you a couple tricks and things for making this card. Now, what I'm going to do, first of all, I want to try something here. I'm going to get out the patterns, and I'm going to look up and see what we've got. I always love thumbing through the patterns and the designs and seeing what I come up with. And in this case, I think what I'm actually going to do is go for a leaf. I'm going to go for that leaf. And actually, I changed my mind. We're going to go back in. There's so many designs already in here, and of course, you can put your own in. And I'm going to pick this autumn design. I'm going to size it to the minimum size here. And I'm going to place it. I've got my mat here, and I've got my piece of paper in here. And I'm going to, I like to look at this and count out the squares and see exactly where I am. You can also do a scan to determine where you where your paper is and where you'd like it but I know that my paper goes all the way down to about the 10 inch mark and I want my design to be almost all the way down at the bottom so I moved it all the way down there on the screen and then all I have to do is hit OK cut and begin to cut. So once this is all cut, I will be able to lift this off and I could use the word or use the beautiful negative left behind that I have intentionally placed here on a card front so that I can now decorate my card. want to show you how to make your own stencils using the scan and cut machine. Here you can see a group of circles stencil that I made and you can see it's all welded together. That's a function of the machine that you can do really easily. I'll show you that really quick before I move on here. You can just pick whatever shape it is you want and you could weld different shapes too. How many you want and I'm just going to do a couple just to make this easy and then all you do is put the shapes so that they overlap okay and then go up here excuse me go up here to the top put the top button and then when all of these are together like this you're gonna put the push this button with the red squares and select so that it selects all of them and then you're gonna push this button right here that shows it connecting the shapes and you can see how it will connect them all and then you would just say okay to weld the pattern outline and then you've got that new shape. So that's a lot of fun. But for this particular project, we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be doing something more simple. We're going to go in and just pick a couple of leaves. And this is one of my favorite things to do. And the reason it's one of my favorite things to do is because I can just take a square. I love to use just little squares of white or pale colored cardstock and I like to do this for a couple reasons. It's going to let me, I will be able to use these leaves, the, the leaves themselves, but I'll be able to use the background that's left to create a stencil. And if I wanted to turn any of these shapes, I could just go up in here and when I'm in this menu, whichever shape it is that I want to turn, if I just hit this button right here, it would allow me to resize it, which is handy if you're looking at it and going, oh, you know what, I really wish it was smaller or it was bigger. The other thing is right here, this circle, if you punch that, you can change it 90 degrees, 10 degrees, 1 degree, you know, however much you like, you can, so you can change things around. And what I really like is while you're in the screen, you could go in and change other leaves. You don't have to go back out and in. You could just, you know, do things change all the leaves however you wanted them um, for your stencil here and let me just change this up a little bit okay and once you're happy and you like the placement of them uh, since I like to work on six by six to make my stencils 
I just want to make sure that all of those shapes are situated inside that grid. You can see I really like how the lines are. It really lets you see exactly, you know, what you're doing there. So you just want to make sure it's in there. And you can just select OK, cut it. And when it is finished cutting, you will have yourself a stencil ready to use. And you will also have, of course, the original shapes that you have cut out. Now what I like to do is I keep a little box where I keep cut shapes and things like this. So when I have a project, I can just, I could paint them, ink them, color them, whatever I would like to use them. And this stencil itself will be very easy for me to use. Now I have this stencil and as long as you're fairly careful with it, they will last for a while and we'll be able to ink and color up, paint up shapes and designs onto our paper crafting projects. I hope you have enjoyed this video and that you like the finished project.